Hello everyone, I'm Gareth Mass974 for you again today. Welcome to another Valve Hammer tutorial. This time around I'm going to demonstrate how you can create the death field that you see in Portal 2 and Portal Still Alive in Portal 1, as well as a little change that I would make for my Portal mod project because um, I made the death field before the Portal Still Alive stuff came out on PC. So the way I would have done it in one of my maps would be slightly different than what would have been done in Portal Still Alive for instance. But it's an optional effect but um, I'm just going to show you how to do the Portal Still Alive Portal 2 death field first. So first thing you want to do is create your prop statics which are going to be the cleanser field models. So in this case I'm making it 256 wide by 128 tall. So in this case you just want to select the portal cleanser model which is this one right here and um, just put them into position so that's what I'm going to do right now control M but um, sometimes I just like to explicitly select the transform tool and uh, just move it into position and then you can hold shift drag and that duplicates it and then again you can just go control M and rotate 180 degrees in the Z to put that one into position as well so that is going to serve as the bounds for the field so what we're going to do now is go under the texture browser and select no draw and um, that's going to be the no draw texture and we're going to select it about the midway between the cleanser fields uh, select it to be one unit thick and uh, match the bounds of the uh, well wall to ceiling in this case so as I said 256 wide by 128 tall with one thickness and select enter and what we're going to do on one face is go under effects and simply enough we're just going to find the laser I think it is or um, laser plane effect that's that and in this case as you can see it's uh, sort of looking a bit weird so if you click fit then as you can see it's scaled it to 2 in the X and 1 in the Y so by selecting this just head over to the other face hold alt and right click and as you can see this is what the uh, the field would look like this is the actual brush texture that we're using so it's uh, using a laser texture in this case so you can go control T and just assign this to a funk brush and uh, what we're going to do under render is it render mode render effects excuse me um, you want to select distort and also in uh, solid solidity sorry you want to select never solid and that is the um, brush at least but I'll just assign this to uh, I give it a name as well so in this case I'll just call it def sound brush and so that is uh, essentially the death field and to make it work what we need to do is use a trigger texture now so get the trigger texture um, and again create a brush that is the bounds of the um, of the cleanser field here I'm screwing up a little bit here but um, there we go we got our trigger texture control T that and what we're going to do is just assign it to a trigger hurt and in the portal still alive case all you do is you set this damage to 900 and the damage type is energy beam so that would all you that's that would be what you have to do there and that's it so in this case um, I've obviously I haven't got a complete map here but um, if you were to save and test this then you'd have a death field um, but of course you would want to add an ambient generic as well so yep that's that so just add in an ambient generic I like to put it about the center area of the uh, field and you can resize this as well that gives you an effective range of the sound and in this case all we're going to do is find the um, shield loop touch combine sound effect which is this one yeah that sound as we always use and in this case you can set it to come from the brush itself and in this case um, 
well we would not want it to start silent because we want it to be on by default but if you want it to start off then you'd have start silent uh, it is looped so keep that um right no that the tick box means it's not looped so we want it to loop so then you unselect that and um we don't want it to play everywhere because it play everywhere in the map and that's not what we want but in this case if you want it to start silent then uh, it's not going to play by default, but uh, if it is going to start on or it's never going to turn off, then yeah, you'd just uh, select, unselect start silent. And you can give it a name as well if you're going to go down the route of inputs and outputs and all that. But that is what you would do for the portal still alive death field. So now when you save and test it, you should get a death field that works like portal still alive in the sense that you can shoot portals through it, you can send physics objects through it but the player dies on touch. Now I mentioned a little bit earlier about a little change that I would make and the little change I would make is instead of using a trigger hurt here, you use a trigger physics trap instead and the dissolve type would be heavy electrical and so you set it to not only clients but stuff like pushables and physics objects as well so that you don't allow physics objects to pass through the death field and so when physics objects go through they dissolve in an electrical kind of way and then if it's a box for instance then you trigger a box respawn and the player sort of jiggles all over the place and gets dissolved and um, the camera kind of looks a bit weird when you use this kind of effect but um, I kind of like the idea that you just get disintegrated on touch of this energy beam instead of just like taking uh, just damage and dying instantly. But um, it's all up to choice and considering another tutorial I might do would be on the portal still alive electricity field. I think this kind of trigger physics trap would work a bit better there since that is like taking heavy electrical damage in that case. But um, that would be another complicated tutorial for another day. Uh, in terms of the death field that is all you really need to do and there's a couple of other emancipation ideas that I would have had in this portal mod project of mine way back in the day one of which would have been the portal blocker and the other I would call the full blocker um, and it is exactly what it says on the tin the portal blocker essentially blocks portals but physics objects get dissolved I think and the player can go through but it doesn't erase your portals and the full blocker blocks everything. So it blocks the player, blocks physics objects, blocks portals. So that would serve as like a barricade between areas that you would hit a button and it enables, disables. But um, those tutorials I can do in the future. But for now, that is how you would create the death field as seen in Portal Still Alive and Portal 2, as well as a little change I would make just to make it a little bit more interesting though it's all down to personal preference this is the basics of how to do it so i hope you find this entertaining enjoyable or uh, helpful i should say that's probably the most appropriate word to use i am going to round this video off now so thank you for watching peace out and see you later